Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Uh, this is episode 156. That's right, we've made 156 of these bad boys so far this year. And that's just on FIFA 20. We made over 300 last year. I'm hoping that we can beat the episode count from, from FIFA 19. I reckon we'll be able to do that this year. We've been very, very consistent. Uh, if you do enjoy... Share that love, share that support by hitting a thumbs up button. Uh, I am aiming, aiming for 2,000 likes. If you can make that happen, you'll make my day. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Why don't you click the little noty bell. Let me know in the comments section that you are a member of the noty gang. All of that grand old stuff. So, two parts to today's episode. The first is me doing a whole bunch of upgrade packs. And the second is me doing some of the games for Ossimen. So, I did these on, it was actually Tuesday afternoon, so before 6pm rolled around on Tuesday, which I know is a couple days ago, but I'm a little bit ahead on videos right now. Uh, so, I, I I was just doing the two rare gold player packs, and then some of the 81 pluses. This was before the 80 plus player pick came out, and also before the 82 to 88 rated player pick came out. So, um... So yeah, that's that's why. Like I just decided to empty the club out again, knowing that I will have players for like marquee matchups later in the week once I've done my rewards, and that will be tomorrow's video will be rewards. Um and all of that all of that stuff really. So yeah, we did the odd 83 plus as well whenever I got someone in a pack that was a little bit too high rated, or I wanted to use some of the 82s and stuff in the club as well. So uh I've done a few bits of everything, so mainly two player packs from just the gold upgrade and also mainly uh, 81 plus double upgrade, whatever they are, um, because we do like we do like them. What I found is that I had quite a lot of non-rare golds in my club, so I couldn't really put them into anything else but two-player gold upgrade packs, right? Uh, or I could have saved them for SBCs or sold the tradable cards, but um, the aim here is to hopefully pack a future stars. That, that, that's the that's the plan today. Uh, so. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing right now. You can see that, you know, some of the packs haven't been great. Some of them offer, I think the very first pack I opened offered out a couple of duplicate untradeables. So, always nice to see. That meant that um, rather than doing a, a pack opening in a row that I'd hoped to do, we, we had to back out and do a couple more SBCs in order to, to make use of those players. Because that's the way to do it, right? You, any duplicate untradeables, you don't want to be... I, I know there's the discard feature the discard recovery system where a quick sell recovery whatever it is but considering you can only do that five times i'm not sure if that's five times total or five times in a 30 day period i'm hoping it's the latter um but yeah i wouldn't want to like discard stuff unless it was like a super high rated like if i packed you know i've got an 88 neuer in the club if i packed another one of him and there's nothing to necessarily put him into at the moment i'd happily discard him right now so that i could continue at opening packs and then go back and recover him later because he's a player that you would definitely recover, right? So uh, that's why I think that, that system is implemented in. Uh, we end up getting something here. We end up getting ourselves an orange, but it's no walkout, I'm afraid. It's English uh, centre-back from Birmingham, which I'm, I can't even remember the guy's name. Dean. It is 78 rated Dean. Uh, considering it's an untradeable, that is... That's just like packing a 78 rated player, really, isn't it? Unless there's an SBC down the line that that requires a no rating cap, but like a special card and a man of the match counts, then uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty pointless card for us. I, I'm not going to lie. So you, you don't really get buzzing about those. Uh, next up, just a couple of like normal rated players we get. We're on to the 80, 81 plus two rare gold player packs now though. So things should be starting to look up. First one is going to be boards. Uh, and it is just boards, I'm afraid. No team of the week, no orange, no walkout, no future stars. Uh, and the first one we do, we get Ben Yedda. And for those of you that know the club, we already have a Ben Yedda in the, in the club. So uh yeah, we, we've got a Hunter on the other one, so although he's already out of position, like I think the other one's in a centre forward, this one is, like, I need to put him into an SBC basically, so I did another 83 plus guaranteed, made sure I put the Ben Yedda in there, and then recovered our Hunter version of a Ben Yedda, um, and put him back in the club, uh, it means that we've just got another 83 plus sitting in there as well that we'll get to, um, we get boards again, but again, no, no special card, no nothing crazy, uh, this is going to be a Jao Moutinho, so I reckon that by the end of these little packs, if I continue to get a couple of bits like that, I will have put the, 
put the 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 I would have put the work in to finally get I don't know maybe build up like an 84 or an 85 rated squad again worth of fodder that I've got in the club uh, and by doing so we're going to shave off either 60 to 100k off of an SBC uh, in 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 the near future you know whenever the next cool SBC comes out that you know your boy wants to do we'll we'll get involved and we'll, we'll be able to save some money on it because we've done some upgrade packs so uh, the last little strand of 81 plus doubles weren't super kind to me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is going to be the final one that we get done for this for this little session here. Uh, and as you can see, it wasn't a, it wasn't a walk a walk out or a board or anything. So we got a little bit unlucky towards the end. But hey, we packed a couple of half decent players. Now there's just two 83 plus players to go. Um, you, you never know when you, you're going to get like an Ava Banega, like like always, or whether or not you're going to get a walkout or a special card or something. Uh, this time around, we get Spanish goalkeeper, and I was like, well, that's going to be Casillas. But it turns out it's Kepa. Uh, that's pretty good, considering we've uh, we we just packed uh, like Jean Martinio. We're getting a couple of Prem players that are all right rating, uh, which is nice. Uh, and then from the final 83 plus rated rare player, we actually get the. Uh, the highest rated orange walkout. So we got some some nice pack luck here. English Cam, of course, that is going to be from Tottenham, which is going to be an 87 rated Deli Alley. Now, I was like, yes, that's that's amazing, that's great. What a lovely pack that is, and uh, I still think that. But uh, and then I had a little look at his price. He's like 60k. He's he's not the craziest of pulls out there. Um, but that's not a bad first owner centre mid for a Prem squad, is it? So I, I'll definitely take that. I was very happy. Uh, it is the best one. It is the highest rated man of the match that's out in packs right now. I think arguably, is there any? I think Saint Maximan is he is he more expensive? Was he 60k the other day or 90k? I'm not sure. But in terms of rating, this is the best orange one that we could have pulled. So uh, yeah, no future stars yet. Still, only a couple of days left to, in, in order to try and make that happen. Hopefully, we go big with our awards this week, uh, gold three op and all of that. Um, but yeah, at least we've come out of uh, out of the latest man of the match. You know, we've packed a few of these little orange cards uh, over the last couple of days in upgrade packs. And uh, and only one of them has been really, really worth it. And that is, of course, that Deli Alley. So I was, I was pretty happy with that, you know. Uh, we end up getting boards here. I was able to, with the stuff that we got from the club, you know, restock, recycle, make a couple more packs. Try and get some more SBC fodder in the club or mainly try and pack a few just stars. We get a little William Carvalho. That's all right. Uh, it could be worse. It could be a lot better. Uh, you know, you got to take it. When it's an 81 plus, uh, an 81 plus pack and you get 83s, you know, you, you got to just let it go and, and, and take that, you know, and, and just class it as fodder. Uh, the next pack, we end up getting English goalkeeper, which of course is going to be from Everton. It is going to be uh, Pickford. Uh, 83 again overall. Can't complain. Is there going to be anything else in the pack? I've got a feeling, is this the pack where I also get another 83? Do I get an Iniesta in this pack? Yes, I do. I remember. Um, see, you open so many packs in for all of these videos, and you just sort of kind of... It all sort of blurs into one. Um, and then we, we do actually get boards in our final pack as well. So those last three were at least three sets of boards. Uh, we end up getting Brazilian, Cam, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be Anderson Taliska because I've already got him untradeable. Luckily, this time it's going to be Oscar. So at least we know there's a perfect link there. Should we need like an 83 rated squad with uh, with Brazilians or, you know, to get chemistry, at least we know that we've got uh, Anderson, Taliska and Oscar there that can help us for, for chem. So that was like the, the little pack opening that I fancied doing because I know that there's been some gameplay and stuff lately. We're going to move on over to the gameplay now using the same squad as what we used um yesterday whatever it was or, you know the, the last time we we started for Ossiman, but obviously we've bumped him up now from the 82 up to the 85 um and the next step is the hard part you know this is gonna this is what's gonna take me a while um and it is gonna be it's the difficult part because it requires rivals wins with certain things happening, like scoring headers, scoring multiple goals in a match. You know how toxic this game can be for a lot of people. Um, you score one goal with Osimhen, I, I can see people just quitting and backing out. And that's part of your objective that's kind of out of your hands that you're not going to be able to get completed. So uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily the best objective. And also the, the header situation, knowing how difficult they are on this game. I knew that was going to be... That was something that I was going to focus on. So... The goal was to go 1-0 up with Osimhen, hope they don't quit. 
And then, of course, we've got to focus on winning. So uh, try not to just force the ball to, to the Nigerian because... Uh, at that point, you're going to miss opportunities which you could have scored if I just passed it to Neymar or something. But as you can see here, we actually get through and score a second goal. So now, if we win this match, we've got one uh, one of the objectives done for the one out of nine, which would be to, to score with Osimhen and win. And then we'd also get another objective done for scoring two goals in the same win with Osimhen. So that's... That, you know, we just need to win this match. But as you can see, it kind of let it slip. Let him get that equaliser with Ben Yedda. Um, and then towards the end of the game, I was like, I desperately need to win here. So it doesn't need to be Osman that scores the goal. And as you can see, I think from attacking all game long with the same player and trying to force it to someone, it makes your, your opponent's defence go towards that player. Leaves a massive gap over here, though. So we knocked it back to Neymar and ended up winning the game. Uh, and and that's going to get you know that's going to get the ball rolling for a couple of objectives. We scored a finesse shot there with Osimhen. So that's one out of six for those. Uh, one out of nine for wins. One out of seven for wins with two goals scored. No header though, unfortunately. And that header has got to be scored by Osimhen in a victory as well. So you got if you finally get the header, you better hope that you you hold on to the win as well because. Uh, Otherwise, you're going to be you're going to be super pissed, right? Uh, so you can see, yeah, we we we've got the ball rolling. Um, the goal machine part, scoring 20 goals with Osman in rivals, that part will just come naturally. You know, if you've got a score in seven wins, if you've got to score two or more, um, then that's going to be 14 goals right off the bat. So that, that's going to happen really, really easily. So we're not even worried about that one. Uh, we just want to get our wins and get our goals with the player. Um, so I end up getting the ball to Osimhen here. Uh, just a little 1-2 with Bernardo Silva. And we end up getting a finesse shot goal. So that's another one of those added to the list. And again, four minutes on the clock, we find ourselves 1-0 up. So I try and do a little header from a corner here. Uh, and that's probably one of... It's going to be one of your best bets. Because crossing headers, like, they're just awful. So at least corners, you can kind of plonk the player in the right spot to try and head it in. Um, but we get through again and uh, end up scoring a... Uh, it was just like a weak foot shot. This 85 Osman's really good, you know. Like, I, I genuinely found him to be a potent striker. And I tried to get the header there, but it was just blocked off the line. There was no goalkeeper there. It was like one of those perfect opportunities where I thought, how else? am I ever going to score a header? So that's what I focused on for the rest of this game, knowing that I was 2-0 up. Uh, I've got a little bit of a windfall there. And look at this. Yes, it happened in game number two. Uh, we we weren't offside. We got the goal. We got the headed goal with Osman. And, uh, and that forces the rage quit out of my opponent. So that is probably... One of the most difficult parts to unlock in this full version, the 88 overall, one of the hardest parts of that is now done. We got a win and we scored a header in the same victory. We also got, you know, multiple goals with him in the same game. So, uh, that it couldn't have started much better for us, really. Like, this is this is going really, really well. So, uh, we move on to uh, what will hopefully be uh, just an, one more game. See where we can get from that. Um, but as you can see, got the header part done. That's going to offer out a little pack. And uh, and we, we don't really expect to, to get anything from it, of course. But um, we are, we're now two out of seven for the scoring two and win with two out of nine for the just win in general while scoring with him it's gonna still be quite a grind i'm not gonna lie uh, i'm yet to have run into anyone which is gonna quit on me at uh, <laughs> at one nil when i score the one goal with him um i'm not looking forward to when that happens but then i go into this which will be the final game of the episode come up against a guy also with 85 awesome and also with uh and 89 and Mbappe. So a solid squad and stuff. And I was like, he's obviously going to be going for the win. He's going to be going for his headers, trying to score with, with the main man. Um, so we need to focus on that. And he runs straight through from kickoff and scores with Mbappe. I don't know what I was doing, if I'm honest. But we were kind of on the back foot right off the off the get-go. Um, but then Osimhen hits me with a, a little heel click. And it gets past Varane. And we score the goal. No finesse shot. But uh, hey, it's fine. It's still a goal. Uh, that's one out, of, you know, one out of two that we need for this game, ideally. Uh, we push him through again here. Little heel click again did, did Varane again. And we end up scoring a second goal. So... That right there, as long as we win this game, we have, uh, we've completed another couple of uh, parts of an objective, which will be ideal. We've now got the goals with him now, uh, so we can focus on scoring with Neymar and stuff. We, yeah, finesse shot goals would be great, but they're going to happen anyway. They, they, they will happen naturally as well. Uh, let's just focus on getting the win against this guy, because that's what's important. And Mbappe just knocks it across. It's actually Furlon Mendy, who's been on 5 chem this whole time, uh, that ends up getting the goal to put us 4-1 up. And that is going to lead to a, a little rage quit from the opponent so 
that's where we're going to stop it for for playing them games today. But um, what a great start that was from from the 85 to, to the to jump to the 88 section. Like that's that, that basically a perfect start. There was one little quit in there that I did, which I haven't shown you. But other than that, a ge genuinely a, a fantastic start uh, percentage wise. We, we've won three out of four games. We had a couple of rage quits. We've got lots of goals with with the main man himself. So uh, and it's boosted our our, uh, and our rivals points up quite nicely. We're actually pushed up into Division Four now. Uh, I'm guessing that will take a hit, you know, as and when we end up losing losing matches, which will inevitably happen and stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll push up and and and, and secure rank two for this weekend. We end up getting the Real Madrid part of the La Liga milestone done. So that's another little two players pack that we can put in the end of this episode as well. Uh, I also did I did one of those upgrade packs, the eighty plus, um, and and I got awful picks. I put it out on Twitter. It wasn't even good enough that I was even going to put it in the video because uh, it just annoyed me. We got Bergvine as an eighty two, but. Um, yeah, they, they were bad, and I, I used quite a lot of UCL rares to get that done, just because that was basically that was all that was left in the club. Um, but what I've decided is that, obviously, we've got rewards tomorrow. I'm probably going to stop working on Ossiemen for this week uh, and get through the weekend league and then and, and carry on with him in the next week, um, because that's one of the main things I want to focus on, as long as he doesn't disappear when, when Future Stars is gone. Um but yeah, because I've decided that, yeah, I want to use the 88 Ossiemen, but I also really want to use the 86 Dan James. So I'm going to try and figure out a squad where I can get my Daniel James into the weekend league this weekend, into my main squad. Uh, and then next weekend, what we'll do is we'll try and earn our way up towards Ossiemen. And then if we get the 88 by the weekend, you know, the next weekend, uh, we'll be able to make a squad which features him in it instead of Dan James. So I'm going to use the Future Stars player that I've already unlocked in James. And he's going to come into our weekend league squad this weekend to see if he's any good because a lot of people have been raving about him and stuff uh the only problem is is that it probably either puts uh um, bernardo silva on less chemistry if we tr somehow manage to fit him in or it uh it means that we don't get to use bernardo silva in the starting lineup either way like i'm sure we'll make something happen um but it's probably gonna it's probably gonna spark a new purchase we're probably gonna have to buy maybe like an icon or someone that can help me get chemistry everywhere as much as possible anyway uh, so that will be the idea. We'll see what we can make happen. But guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. And now that is all that's... All that now that all is said and done, I sort of forgot my words there for a moment. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. It will be rewards day tomorrow, so look forward to that. Peace. <laughs>